action! Hey everybody, great to see you. This is a historical moment in time. It's a small step for me, it's a great leap for mankind. Welcome to Box Studio, live for the first time ever! Rah! Yes, I'm so happy! Oh, my books! Have you seen my books yet? Oh. Have you seen my books yet? One uh, blue, one red. These are Christmas books. Uh, you're the brilliant uh, Norwegian. Um, uh, very popular here in uh, Norway. Did you know that we are from Norway? Yeah, the land of the Viking Santa, snow and snowman. Ah, snowman. Thanks, Marius. Marius, my you're main welcome. man, my main man. Um, uh, by the way, this is the very first. Uh, box uh, episode that I made for YouTube but I have been on TV for many 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 years so uh, you know before I started with YouTube I was quite a well-known uh, art and craft TV star uh, and then this was the very first uh, thing I made it was actually Christmas that we launched uh, a box uh, YouTube uh, two years ago and uh, I made this uh, uh, gift box you can put your you can put your gift in here and then you close it up with a rubber band and then whoops they put under the tree yeah right yeah back to my books I'm very very proud of mine you see I'm actually a cartoonist did you know that I'm 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 I wasn't really a crafts guy I was a cartoon guy for many many years before I before I started with with the crafts and I did stuff like this you know um, like uh, you know drawing here's a step-by-step -step how to draw a snowman on ski and he's so fast that he loses his head and pretty much everything else uh, here's a unicorn you can color in here is a snowman step-by-step -step. I'm very um, fond of drawing with circles because it makes uh, everything so easy so one two three four five six and you got your uh, Santa and then you try uh, the Santa over here here's some gnomes and here is um, Santa's wife. Yep, yeah, you um, met Santa's wife before, I hope. Uh, crazy reindeer. You know, I like um, not to have um, the normal reindeer, but sometimes, you know, uh, crazy characters because it's more fun. Life is more fun that way. Um, uh, here is the number two. So how to draw with numbers. Number two becomes a... Um, uh, sort of a, um, a Santa's helper uh, lady and um, you know pointing at her toe here's number eight becomes um, a, um, um, a person um, a snow person with a penguin and oh there's number one uh, penguin uh, and um, pig um, squiggle Santa's dancing uh, different types, the different styles of snowman, snow pirate made from squares, and a uh, snow lady, snowman's wife. Uh, here's Santa stuck in the chimney, <laughs> and the reindeer are really scared, taking off. Um, blah 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 blah. I just wanted to show you these books because. I just wanted to uh, tell you that I'm actually a cartoonist and I practice drawing all the time. Just look at my table here. You know, I'm oh, moustache, colorful moustache. <laughs> yeah. So I so look at that. Pencils, pencils, many more pencils. This is to celebrate uh, that I my love for drawing because I love to draw and I practice my drawing the whole um, time. I even do live shows where I perform drawing on on stage. But I really love all my my art materials. It's so important to have your your you know material materials you know uh, ready uh, because then your your drawing experience, your creative time with yourself is so much more fun. Now, what do you think of my studio here? Can you Check give us a, the people that, they, they want the studio tour? Can you give them that? A studio tour? Yeah. Yeah. Would you like a studio tour? Yeah. Okay. Quickly, we begin right in this corner here. Uh, got my costumes. You know, this is I have. You know, when I when I dress up for different different uh, art shows or different filming, 
Sometimes I use this jacket, well, that's mostly I use it for box yourself, but I also use this uh, cow sweater when I, when I do my, my live show. So this is a Ostein classic. Uh, I paint um, I, in the corner here is a lot of uh, paintings and I'm, I'm a keen painter as well. And over here, in fact, if I be so bold as to start in this corner, um, here's a very stand classic, square cows, uh, doodle, also called little Einstein in Norwegian, but it's called doodle in English. Um, then uh, all the, the studio is built from cardboard boxes. Um, so I collect uh, boxes as much as possible. I even have a big box factory that gives me boxes when I when I need to uh, and then I just uh, I stack them I glue them I paint and I open them up I just take a knife you know make a door uh, fold it open and then I put in things that I make hey have you seen this one yet this is one of the uh, quite popular um, Halloween um, boxes that I did last year. You can put your candy here, you pull here, and, and the candy falls into a secret apartment in here. Uh, so I just stuff all the all my 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 uh, my art. When, once I finished uh, showing them to you, I put them here uh, or other places. But quite a few I put uh, I put here. You you may recognize some of these uh, things. Some of them are also from TV, like let's say. Like this one is from uh, television, uh, not made for YouTube. Uh, it's a little uh, princess made from a toilet roll and a paper bowl. Um, and then I got, I got art materials um, like, you know, uh, this, this is a very handy shelf to store art materials. Like when I need paper cups, hey, got tons of paper cups up here. If I need, um, oh, oops! <laughs> Did I knock something over there? Ooh. Yeah. This is a very scary studio. Yeah. Very fragile. Yeah. Thank, thanks. Um, <laughs> what's that guy called? The uh, Santa's helper. Alf. The Alf. Alf. Yeah. Thanks, Alf. We want a I, better studio. Actually, he's called Marius. Oh, that's my. Name. Yeah, he's a madman. He's my main man. Oh, main man. madman. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, the, so you know, sometimes I gotta be. Uh, careful so I don't knock things over in the studio because it's expensive equipment cameras and whatnot and lights and some of them are quite whoa, 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 whoa. We're getting a lot of messages from, yeah. from the chat now. Uh, oh, yeah. What, yeah, what, what, they, yeah, 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 what happy Thanksgiving they're saying happy to, uh, Thanksgiving happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much um, We don't celebrate that much Thanksgiving in Norway. I wish we did because it's great. I love the food, you know, the pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie and the turkey. I love, I love them. Uh, but we don't have that tradition here. You have to work. So we, yeah, we have to work and then eat normal food like fish balls and other fish things that we, we eat a lot of fish here. Uh, <laughs> any, any more? What? Tell yeah, me, what? let's see here. It's a lot of, well, uh, yeah. Kimberly, she has to go to school actually. Kimberly. Good night. Yeah, that's a different time zone. Kimberly got to go to bed. Sleep well. You know, well. You know, yeah, of course, different time zone around the world. Of course, I understand. Let's see her and they say, I love you. I love you. Well, who says that? Uh, Minecraft roleplay. Minecraft roleplay. Role yeah. Thanks, Minecraft roleplay. I love you too. Thank you so much. That's really good to hear. And thank you. Matthew Alvarez. Matthew Mar Alvarez. Uh, Merry Christmas, Oyster. Oh, that's so nice. Warms my old craft heart. Thank you so much, Matthew. And uh, and Merry Christmas to you too. Mia LK, she says hi from Estonia. From Estonia? Have you been there? Yeah, I have. I was there about the summer 2016. I was there. Tallinn. Tallinn is a gorgeous medieval city. Just the stuff that I like. It's a like a fairy tale city. So, so what was her name again? Uh, Mia LK. Mia, yeah, Mia LK. Uh, uh, probably loves uh, lives in a f real fairy tale city. So that's great, Mia. Thanks. And Crystalline, she's from Korea, and you're going there, right? Korea. Ooh, Anyo, 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 Hello, Chris. Was Christine? Uh, 
crystalline so many messages. crystalline uh, crystalline crystalline from from korea yeah yeah thanks crystalline yes i'm going there for the winter olympics i really look forward to that it's going to be a great snowy winter experience okay give me more and serenity and vision he says you are the bear i'm the bear yeah i'm the bear, Polar bear oh friend. thanks i didn't know that Ooh, i'm the bear yeah thank you and uh, Aubrey Hanna, she wants a shout out. I love shout you so much. Shout out to Aubrey Hanna. I hope I pronounce it. Aubrey, correctly. I love you so much! Was that loud enough? And Pro Gamer from Macedonia. Pro Gamer? Huh? What? From Macedonia? Yeah, he's a pro gamer. Pro? Oh, oh, he's pro. He's professional. Hey, pro. Yo, bro. Bro. Yo, and bro. Hello bro. from Spain. Yo, bro. Uh, hello from Spain. Who's Irreg that? Irregular Stone. Irregular Stone? Somebody call that? Yeah. Hello from Spain. Well, hi Spain. Spain is a great place. I've been there a couple of times. It's a really wonderful and a lot of creative people there that I really like, like Picasso and others, of course. Can you say hi to Princess Unicorn? She Princess wants a Unicorn. Shout out. We have a lot of hearts. Princess, you want a shout out as well? We have a lot unicorn. of hearts. I unicorn. I think she, she should watch the video tomorrow. Oh, hey, I have just made a unicorn. You got to watch tomorrow's video because I'm 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 teaching you how to draw uh, three different uh, unicorns. Please watch. I really I'm a big fan of unicorns now. What's the name again? Her name is Princess Unicorn. Oh yeah. She's so shout out with hearts. She's she's a royal actually. Princess heart. Heart, 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 heart. Many, many Ooh. hearts coming to you. Thank you so much, princess. And there's a mega fan, Aubrey Hanna. She's been watching you for 16 years. Have you been doing this how, so long? How many years? 16 years, Aubrey Hanna. How is it possible? How is it possible 16 years? Well, you must have watched since you were one, one year old, or I don't know how old you are. But anyway, if you watch me, you've been watching me 16 years, uh, fantastic, because uh, uh, my first TV show was in 2000, that's uh, almost 18 years ago now, that was in Singapore. I started with TV in Singapore, so maybe you're a Singaporean, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching me for so long, I hope you're not tired of me. Okay, one last shout out for uh, Lisa Baby or something? Lisa who? Lisa Bob. Lisa, Lisa Baby. She really wants a shout out. <laughs> but shout out or, or what? Just say hello. That's, oh, that's like, the kids they want this. this hello, Lisa Baby. Yeah. Uh, maybe um, I can take some more questions later and, and read it for you. But maybe we should see more of the studio. Yeah, there's so and much come, here. Come, I want to show you more. And, um, and uh, the art here, you know? The... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go into uh, the office here. We've got a little uh, office in, on the corner. Um, come on in here, come on in here. Uh, here is uh, a bit of my gallery. You can start over here with uh, an old painting. Uh, it's a uh, cow with the, instead of a horn on the head, it's a moon, which is also a banana. So it's like three in one uh, thing with little cute bunnies on clouds with uh, carrot. Uh, here I have one of my favorites because I love to uh, paint cows because they're so funny looking. Uh, it's a cow picnic. So the cow is taking all her friends for a uh, picnic in the, in the grass. You see the picnic basket here and it's a hedgehog, there's a frog, uh, a gecko, snakes, uh, chicken, bees, different different animals. Uh, over here we got stuff from uh, different TV shows that I've done. You may recognize some of these items. Here is a painting. Well, it's printed on uh, metal, uh, but I painted it with the watercolor. It's uh, the whole world. Maybe you can recognize some of these countries. I've like, got like, Russia, got Norway, you got New York, you got Egypt, you got different different countries, even Singapore there with the Tang Dynasty Tower. Oh, uh, you may recognize this uh, brother here. Uh, it's a gorilla chair. Uh, oh, Halloween. Ooh, Halloween head. And I want to show you something you can make for Christmas. If you haven't seen this box episode, please do. Uh, it's just a very large box, like a fridge, like a refrigerator type of box. And you can put it over your head like, ah, 
like this, like this, like this, and then, uh, then <laughs> and then I can talk. Merry Christmas! Whoa, oh, 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 Merry Christmas! Whoa, oh, 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 oh. I just made it with a little, um, uh, like a little, what do you call it, a lever or something inside, you know, so I can lift, I can lift um, the, the teeth up and down and, and, and then you can talk and stuff. Anyway, it's a great Santa costume. Don't have to buy costume this Christmas. Just make one out of a big old box or just glue some boxes together like several boxes into uh, one. So, uh, <laughs> Santa little helper, Santa little helper, can you? Oh, you're so fat. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, he's back. So you're Santa, huh? I'm Santa, in case you didn't know. Okay, let, uh, come, let me show you some other stuff. Uh, another painting. My paintings are scattered around the, um, the box studios. Square cows oh. again. Oh, I don't know if you've seen that one. Um, oh, my God. Oh, oh. My best seller. This is the box best seller. Uh, it's a very simple device. Uh, just a box with a uh, box girl. No, not box. Cat girl and a cat boy uh, toilet sign. Um, open it up. You got your uh, Christmas uh, toilet paper uh, inside. Uh, and uh, and then, then your cat go uh, in here, uh, you know, to take a little woohoo for, uh, you know, for um, uh, Christmas. Um, yeah, that is very popular. If you haven't seen this video, you, it's a must because it's quite funny, if I have to say it myself. And it's very popular. And, um, and we are really thankful for all the people that has, uh, have have watched it because you know it really give our channel a, 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 a great boost. Come on, come here. Um, here, hey, <laughs> it's a Christmas Christmas present. Christmas. You should open uh, it. Uh, should I open yeah. it? Yeah. Is it something inside for me? I know you love it. It's for okay. me. Okay. Did, is it for, from you? Yeah, it's what you love the most. Oh, because in the it whole world. Because it doesn't say to and fro. It's a box. Oh, Ray. Oh, yeah. It's a box. Just what I need for my next make. Thank you, Marius. You're I'm welcome. Gonna, I'm going to put it in, in here. Uh, maybe a bit further down. Okay. My, like that. And what is um, this? Christmas house. Christmas house. Um, f uh, made last year. Um, it's not so much decorated now, but you know, on, on when we filmed it, I decorated it with many, many things. Uh, and uh, our great pride, the Box Yourself uh, YouTube Hall of Fame Mega Button. It basically means that we have, uh, that when we got this, we had 100,000 subscribers, uh, award, uh, whatever they call it. Basically, it's a beautiful, beautiful little, um, YouTube button that, that you get, you know, if your channel has 100,000 uh, followers. Now we have almost 200,000 uh, and counting. So, uh, you know, please put that, push that subscribe button so that we can get the next gold button thing. And you get a nice box too. Yeah, Look what? at this. That's the best part. Yeah, what, what, what? You get this nice box from YouTube. Oh, yeah. It was inside this one. Yeah. That's the best thing. You yeah. can make something with it. And, and this youtube box i am saving for a special make i haven't decided what to make from it yet maybe you can give me some ideas because it's got to be very special because i tell you these things you can't buy you have to earn them okay so no money can buy this you got to work hard and earn and earn it by running your YouTube channel really well, so that's this is a very special box. And someone in the chat wants to watch uh, the Pikachu backpack. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Pikachu backpack uh, is uh, is very cool. Uh, you can uh, oh, you can, it's a diff there are different expressions. So it's like this. This expression. Woo, smile. Woo, 
smile then you can open like like this and put your school stuff or your food or whatever you want on the back in the back bag in the back in the back and then you put it on uh, I have to admit if I'm to, to criticize myself a bit it's nice to kind of sling over your shoulder uh, you look very stylish and you know cool with this one I have to say though that next time I make it I'm gonna make the straps even stronger because I have noticed that they start to um, they start to tear a bit at the, at the uh, at the end here. So next time me or you make it, make the straps even stronger. That's my my advice. But the, these are the things you discover as you make things. You know when you when you make things, not everything you make is perfect all the time. Not my stuff. Not your stuff. So we got to keep on adjusting. You make it, you see what happens, and you improve. And next time you do it, it's it'll be better. Uh, here is a cute little craft that I made. Let me see, where is the other? Because I, I make it in steps. So I, I have one that is, nah, I can't find it now. But anyway, here is, um, um, oh, it's down here. It's down here, hang on. I got so many, I got so many cats. Yeah, this is the, this is the first one I made. The original, if you wish, uh, it's a Persian uh, cat uh, with a, with a flat face. Because I think that the, the the Persian cats they have such flat faces. I think they're really funny looking. Uh, so I just wanted to make a point out of the fact that a box is flat, the cat flat face, and then so you can just paint the face on the box. Uh, so this is one that I made when I was actually demonstrating it. Uh, so I usually, everything I make, I make in two or three or four, so that I can do, do it in different steps. Um, um, I hope more people will watch this video, uh, because I, not that many people have seen it yet, and, and I, think, I think it's a, it's a, it's a fun idea, uh, something, and, it, and it teaches you a lot about painting skills. So please watch this one if you haven't. Um, what's up with this? Uh, this is a rock. Uh, I, uh, I, I collect rocks, especially the round, uh, smooth rocks that you can find on a, on a rocky beach. Like in Norway, most beaches are rocky, not sandy. Uh, I collect rocks, uh, especially if they have a nice uh, color to them. And uh, then I paint, I paint them. This one is a car, you know, the dog in the back seat, got the suitcase there got uh, dad with his uh, naughty little son uh, <laughs> in the car uh, but basically uh, you can make anything here is sheep uh, I have different different types of sheep here's here's a cute one see um, so it depends like what what the shape and the color the texture of the stone you find and just try with a little bit of paint. Uh, I use acrylic paint because it's waterproof. It's kind of more professional to use, but they're very, it's very cheap to buy it in the store. And you can paint anything you like. I mean, just use your imagination. There is, and uh, if you like to, I can make more stone painting videos. So uh, keep on commenting, tell me what you like and don't like, and I will uh, do my best to cover it. Uh, then the cat the house. Here. Did you just show the cat house? The oh Christmas. yeah, this is the Christmas cat house. The original cat house is uh, is over here. Uh, that's a very popular one. Uh, this is the Christmas version because it's red, and I decorated it with tinsel and stuff, so it became and snow, so it became very Christmassy. Here is the storeroom. Here is the storeroom. Got my drawing paper. This is what I use when I do my live shows. I use drawing paper so I can draw really big. But you can see here, I've got tons and tons of uh, boxes straight from the factory. Because uh, sometimes I don't have time to, to collect everything recycled. I mean, I, th I think you should because it's important to recycle and be environmentally conscious. But me, because I, I use so much, sometimes I just got to get it from the factory. Uh, here is uh, different They're art materials. Dracula. Uh, Dracula. Yeah, the pencil case. The actual pencil case I don't have, but I have the steps. So this is what happens when I 
when I film. I make many different steps. Uh, so here is like an um, initial step and many other steps here up until it's finished. But I don't know the finished one right here. But anyway, so it's a lot of work, you know, to produce one video is a lot of work because you've got to do it several times over. Uh, so that when we film it, it's a bit faster. So, you know, we, we can show it to you more efficiently. And then we store it later for a different occasion. Um, can you say something in Norwegian? That's from Mari Supergirl. My, Mari Supergirl, made probably from Norway. She's a superhero. Okay, Mari, here is a summer toilet. So it's a cat toilet. Eh, som vi lagde en sommerversjon da, så det ble et hotell. Så hvis sånn, kattene går inn her, kan de tisse og bæsle litt og sånn nede på her, og så går de opp og sover oppe i hotellet her oppe da, når, når de er ferdig. <laughs> så er det krabbe og reke og forskjellige sånne ting igjen. Ok, English, uh, more of my books. I got a lot of books, I just showed you two latest books, Christmas books, but I have much, I have. Here's a... A uh, very um, cool uh, drawing uh, drawing book. Uh, I made it um, uh, for people that like the sort of uh, you know girl issues, such as drawing supermodels and cute animals and stuff. Uh, here I have another one, which is uh, "Box Yourself" in Norwegian. Eisenpapperske. That's what it is called in Norwegian. Papperske means cardboard box. Uh, quite a big big book with lots of stuff inside um, and I have I have hey Maris can you take this yeah sure uh, I got coloring books I have draw football book you can maybe recognize the football stars um, um, <laughs> what's his name uh, Ronaldo Ronaldo of course <laughs> Ronaldo Slatan uh, uh, Neymar Anyway, the big uh, football stars. Oh, uh, and I have, here's one uh, drawing book with uh, typical boys themes, like cool cars, ninja, ninja, uh, sports, and uh, crazy uh, monsters on, uh, uh, on skateboard. Here's a message from, uh, in the chat, Christy uh, Luttrell. She really still Luttrell. Yeah. Um, hi, I love your videos. Can I have a shout out from shout out? My mom will be so happy. Okay, here here's for Christy and her lovely mom. I love you. Happy Thanksgiving soon. Merry Christmas. Uh, thank you. I hope that was loud enough and the heart felt enough. Let me get that stuff out of my, my box. Um, so thank you so much for watching Box Yourself. I'm very grateful. Um, uh, and um, thank you again. Oh, the Christmas stocking. The Christmas stocking on the door. And gift inside too, many gifts. Shall we open some? Yes, let's open some gifts. Should we go back what? to steer with the light perhaps? Yeah, maybe, yeah. You want, shall we go, this is, by the way, this is where we eat. We even have, this is where we eat. You can see there are some utensils here and stuff. Uh, basically, I, we even got uh, a huge pencil case uh, yeah. on, uh, on our, <laughs> on our uh, eating table, that's how crazy we are for drawing. We just love drawing. And my painting! Arr! And what's up with this uh, background? Though? Oh yeah, this is the cupboards. So I got, uh, we, got, we decorated uh, uh, the cupboards with uh, my cartoons. Uh, you can see lion, zebra, uh, cows playing football. Let's go back to the, um, to the studio. Okay, let's see. And it is, Mario, is anything really inside here or is it just another box? It's just a box. I'm okay, sorry. it's just a box. Okay. But here I've got some, something more substantial. It's a uh, Pringle can 
that it's half <laughs> half made up into a Santa and I and we can say that for later. There's something inside. Oh, There's okay. a surprise yeah, okay, from okay, the okay, community. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, so okay. Later. Turkey! Turkey! <laughs> happy Halloween, no. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> it's a turkey made from a small box, small box. You can do that too. Um, and if you don't like turkey, here's a pizza. Here's a pizza that I made in an earlier episode. Please watch if you want, uh, if you like pizza. What is this? Ugh! Action hero! Whoa! That's the one I always wanted. Is it a wrestler, perhaps? Is it a wrestler? I think so. Oh, okay. Is it a wrestler? Yeah. In my pocket. In my pocket. Okay. Uh, more stuff. Um, we have. Oh, it's a half finished Santa um, uh, mint holder. You know, you put your mint in there. Go like this. You can put it in your pocket. And then, and then, ah, uh, put you. You can take the mints out of the the mouth uh, 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 when you want to eat. But this is not finished painted. This is one of the steps that isn't done yet. Um, let's see what else do we find in the Christmas stocking? Yes, money, and it's foreign currency. It's all kinds of. It's not Norwegian. It's. Um, from Myanmar. Yeah, Myanmar in Asia. Basically, these are all the places that I've traveled to. Thailand, um, Euro, Euro, um, Poland. Anybody from Poland out there? I'm not sure if we have any followers from Poland. Maybe we do. Uh, yeah, different, different countries. Uh, now, can I open the, sure. the, the surprise box? I'm not sure what's in here. There's some paper, I can see some paper in there. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna open one. Um, oh yeah. These are questions from uh, my lovely fans, followers and friends. From Mia LK. She's in the chat. Oh, she's in the chat. Yeah. Oh, hi That's Mia. Okay, Mia asking here, will you be doing winter room decor? Of course I will be doing winter room decor. Winter is long here in Norway. So in January and February, uh, I will be doing winter decor, but I'm not exactly sure yet. I'm gonna spend Christmas thinking about it. If you got ideas, load them onto me. I can't guarantee that I will make them because it depends a bit, you know, what, uh, what type of ideas that I think is, is, is good to, 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 um, to use. But I, will, I certainly read all your ideas and I appreciate them and I try to make as many as I can. So yeah, Mia, just send me ideas. I will certainly do some winter room decor this year. No, next year. Uh, it's almost end of this year. Uh, okay, let's open another one. Um, it's from 100 cats. Oh, that's a lot of cats. Yay. How long has the channel been up? It's been up since Christmas 2015. No, 2014. 14? Yeah, but we didn't, uh, there was some other people actually. Oh yeah, yeah. okay, sorry. Yeah, because you know, some other guys w w uh, run it for us in the beginning and then we started running it. So, so two years from us and then another year from um, our uh, colleagues. Um, how did you start uh, a YouTube? Why did you start a YouTube channel? Well, it's because uh, after so many years on regular television, you know, uh, old fashioned television, uh, I decided to uh, go into YouTube because I thought it was a very, very, very cool place to be. It's a cool channel. It allows me to speak directly to you like this. Because in old-fashioned television, I couldn't do that. So for me, it was it was a wish to be more in touch with the people that watch me, and that's the most important. Um, <clears throat> uh, favorite color? My favorite color is actually um, blue, as in sky blue, like a bright, bright sky blue. That's my favorite color because it's so fresh. Uh, it's this this color, by the way, this color here. 
because it's so uh, fresh and healthy and pure and clean like a like a, a pure blue sky means a clean environment and that's very important uh, otherwise I also like bright red because it's passionate it's a color of love and it's a very bright and cheerful color uh, favorite creation so far well uh, I got many but it's got to be my cat toilet because since everybody loves it I love it too you know what I mean I I'm happy when my followers are happy so so yeah my the cat toilet is definitely a top favorite uh, I'm gonna open uh, some more uh, questions it's upside down now um, from a three views a three views Thomas how did you start making everyday items useful again um, well it's all about recycling what you find around you because you know not everybody have a lot of money they may just need to find objects like junk and use that to make art because art is not just for rich people or people that can buy things art is for everybody rich or poor so it's important for me to say that hey anything around you in the whole world can be used for some kind of art so just keep keep uh, looking for objects to use that's what, what was my first thought the second thing is environment if we just keep on buying new stuff new stuff all the time it's bad for the environment so we got to start recycling and reusing what we already have that's why i started um okay uh, and can you give any advice on how to be creative with just about anything um yeah okay here's a little idea for you right now i'm going to find a piece of paper oh here's a cool idea here's a cool idea um it's the simplest idea in the world but let's say you make a couple of eyes you make a pair of eyes okay just like this two circles and you make a pair of um, eyes on a piece of cardboard or a piece of paper or what now when you walk around anywhere uh, anywhere where there are there is uh, there are items some maybe a flea market or a place with a lot of junk or a lot of stuff or maybe it's just your old the garage or the cupboard or something you take the eyes and you put them next to the object whatever the lamp you see you find an old lamp put it here whoa the lamp comes alive and it's uh, it can it's uh, it can talk <laughs> you know and all of a sudden the lamp start to look like something you can use well, as before, maybe you would overlook the lamp, but with the eyes, whoa, whoa, I can make a strange animal or a dinosaur or a, maybe something out of Star Wars. Like these, you know, these... So you can make a Star Wars figure or something. So, use the eyes, use the eyes. What's, the, what's your name again? Thomas. Use the eyes, Thomas, and anything you look at can become an item that you can use for item. art. Huh? It's an item. Uh, <laughs> item. I'm sorry. Oh, that was a pun, was it? <laughs> yeah, it was. You are trying to be funny. Yeah. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm just trying. <laughs> Forget about me. <laughs> oh, that was quite funny. Uh, yeah, so eyes it is. Uh, more questions? Uh, questions come on yes question from Astro Bear Productions can you make a pun Ooh. no a Pac-Man Pac episode for us 80s for us 80s and cardboard fans can you make a Pac-Man episode for us 80s and cardboard fans yeah um, do you know what Pac-Man is yes I know Pac-Man Pac-Man is the thing that wait, wait, wait runs around eating eating the dots yeah exactly yeah uh i'm not a huge pac-man fan myself but i i do respect the people that are and uh, yeah maybe i should pac -Man. i never thought of that actually that's a new that's a new thought for me so uh thank you productions for um for um reminding me that there are 
a community out there that are interested in these things. So certainly, let me, I don't promise anything right now, <laughs> you know, because if I promise, I, 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 I try to hold it. Um, I try to keep it, I mean. Um, uh, but uh, but uh, let me put it on my idea list and I shall see what I can do. Thank you so much. So that was all the questions in here. But there's more. More? Do, do, do. Yeah, because me yeah. there are some questions that you get a lot of, very often do you get these questions from yeah. the community. Okay, so, so popular questions coming up. Where do you get all that cardboard? cardboard? Okay, uh, you're talking about all this cardboard. Well, there are two. There are two ways I get my cardboard. Well, three actually. Okay, the first one is that I collect. And it's not that hard because when you go to shops, you go to supermarkets or the shopping mall, uh, or sometimes just out in the street, you will just find boxes. Because, you know, when people unpack things, they stuff boxes outside their shops and stuff so i just grab them and i put them in my car if you don't have a car put use your parents car so it's just a, sorry uh, it's just about collecting that's that's the best then i keep asking my friends to collect for me so i, I just say to my friends family i say hey if you you know have some nice boxes lying around bring them to me next time you visit me come and you know give it to me so i ask friends you can do that too the last one uh, is that I have actually a, a, a whole cardboard box factory that supplies me, that gives me... So when I need a lot, like I met, when I made the Viking ship, you know, I made a full-scale Viking ship that I sent, I sailed on the, in a big lake. Uh, I used thousands of boxes. And of course, I can't collect that many, so I needed the factory supply them to, to supply them to me. But the factory use all recycled. Oh yeah, here's thanks, Marius. Here is actually a picture of it. Uh, it's in a, this little booklet here. You see me? Can you see me there? Uh, in the in the in the very front of the the Viking ship, and there is the dragon head right there. And you can see how big it is. It was actually 20 meter long. You can't even see the end of it. And I sailed it on this lake and I used thousands of boxes. In fact, I got a bigger picture. Oh, here, wait. I got a, oh, here. Here is the full scale uh, Viking ship. You can see me in front uh, over there, uh, looking pretty much like I do now. So you can just imagine how many boxes I needed to make this um, uh, ship. So then. Uh, I, I needed help from uh, a factory. But of course, I know that not everybody have factories that can give things to them. So, uh, so my best advice is start collecting and you'll be amazed how fast you can collect. Um, Any there's, more, uh, there's another question. There's a lot of people yeah. who wonder where you are from. Are, so here's the question. Are you Swedish? Are you Swedish? No, I am Norwegian. It's almost the same though. Yeah. Uh, actually, here we are now. We can drive to Sweden in uh, uh, in uh, half an hour. Uh, Marius actually lives in Halden, which is like he can walk to Sweden. Yeah. No, no. If you wanna, if you want backwards. to, backwards. Yeah, he, he can go backwards to Sweden and buy some Swedish meatballs. And in, in, in a few, just a few minutes. Uh, but from here, where we're standing now, we can drive for half an hour, and we're already in Sweden. But we are Norwegian. I'm Norwegian. Everybody here is Norwegian. Uh, uh, it's a neighbor, neighbor country to Sweden. Together it's called Scandinavia. It's a wonderful place. Quite cold right now. It's a bit of snow outside. You can't see that, but uh, it's a bit of snow outside. Yesterday it was snowing like mad and I had to take a plane because I did a show in a different city. And uh, the plane got delayed for several hours because it was snowing so hard that the plane couldn't land. So yeah, Norway is a cold and, and a tough uh, country. The home of the Vikings, yeah, this is where it's from. This is where they are from. And the home of uh, Santa. And some people think he's from Finland. Some people think he's from the North Pole. But I tell you, he's from here. Okay, I'm not kidding now. This question is yeah. the one that people ask the most. Yeah, is that true? <laughs> Are you the voice of Shrek? 
They have to know. Are you? Well, the, the <laughs> well, this is a bit of a secret. A bit of a secret. Because, because, but I am Trek. You can tell. I mean, look. He's bald like me. He's got ears that stand out like me. He's got brown eyes. He's got brown eyes like me. And he sounds like me. But, so, but and he's, he's got muscles like me. But no, it's not me. Uh, it's just a coincidence. I just happen to sound a bit like Shrek. Sorry, I wish it was me. Are you sure? Cool. Because there's a lot of discussion online on YouTube. Look at this. Look at this. What? All these people. And this is just this is just a few. one percent. I'm not kidding. So yeah, so so hundreds, if not thousands, of people around the world is wondering if I'm actually Shrek. She's so got a good point. If he were related to Shrek in any way, wouldn't he be green? Now that's a good point, Claudia Gamez. Uh, I would be green. Yeah, um, good point. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm. Uh, what do you call it? I'm, I'm, um, uh, I'm flattered because Shrek is such a cool character, and I, I, I would gladly be be him or his voice or his personality. Um, but uh, no, so far, you see, Shrek had a Scottish accent. Scotland is, you know, across the water. We're in Norway now, so so it's a bit different for me. But I I I understand you. I'm a bit Shreky. Maybe I should make Shrek. Yeah, good idea. Maybe I should do a Shrek craft. Yeah. Hey, would you, would you like that? Shrek yourself. Well, Shrek yourself. Hey, everybody! Welcome to Shrek yourself. <laughs> and we got. Uh, uh, no, yeah, uh, good plan. I'm gonna put that on my idea list, Shrek ideas. And here's the most important question. Yeah. Where's Box? Yeah. Box is a very cool animated uh, character. He doesn't appear in all our shows, but he appears in some. Um, and he's right here. I mean, this is the actual box uh, that, we, that we used for uh, when we filmed the, um, the episodes. So yeah, that's box, that's what it looks like. And by the way, if you miss box, just take a box of any size, draw eyes, nose and mouth with teeth, cut them out, a bit rough, you know, like I've cut out here, and then stick them on the box and you got your own box. Please do that, take a picture and send it to me because uh, I really want to see your box creation. That would be so much fun to see all the uh, box characters out there. And these are his ears, by the way. Woohoo! So waving his ears around. But now people are saying, like, uh, if you read Angela here. Yeah, Angela. Uh, Angela, you're talking to me there? Yeah, what she's saying because she, uh, that one. Angela Purple. Vitale. What about the voice of the guy on Despicable Me? Grew. Uh, it's a Gru. Yeah, people yeah, are Gru. saying. Yeah, I like Gru. Gru. Yeah, Gru. Gru. <laughs> yeah, Gru is cool. I, I, I like him a lot. Um, are you Gru? And he's bald like me as well. Why are all the cool guys bald? <laughs> well, some cool guys were here as well. But well, anyway. Um, no, that's not me either. Uh, the only voice. The only. Uh, movie that I gave my voice to was actually um, Walking with Dinosaurs. Uh, I uh, when they made the Norwegian uh, version of Walking with Dinosaurs, I was the voice of the bad guy, the bad brother. If you seen that movie, you know the older brother, the kind you got the kind little brother and the nasty <laughs> big brother. I was the nasty big brother because my voice is so nasty. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, no, I, I, I didn't, um, I didn't do any of those voices except for the that, um, the older brother. I listen to Dan the man. Dan the man. Yeah, he says, "Yay!" Hashtag bold life. Bold life. Is yeah, that hashtag. What, is that? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You're hashtag trending. Bold. You're trending on the internet. Yeah. Trending. Trend. Trend me up, people. Uh, I'm all for trending and uh, I, I think I'm quite trendy. Um, 
Uh, maybe bold, bold, yeah, bold. Uh, what, what was it? Was it bold me up? No. Was it uh, bold? Hashtag bold life. Bold life. Bold. Bold life. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the uh, the proposal. That's a very good uh, thought. Uh, I shall cherish it, cherish that in my heart oh. forever. Here's uh, uh, Christy Luttrell. Who? Christy. That's. Uh, Wasn't she on earlier? I'm not sure. Yeah, I haven't seen her name. She's. Uh, I think I read. What's she, your real name? She's asking. Yeah, Christy Luttrell. Uh, said something earlier that I commented on. Uh, thanks, Christy. Uh, my real name is Einstein. Uh, I, I will write it for you. Wait. Uh, can you take the board? Yeah, sure. The pad. Uh, my real name is this. O with a slash. you got to have that slash. This is a Norwegian, uh, unique Norwegian letter. That is called Ö. You're going to go like this, Ö. Uh, and Norway is the only country in the world that has it. The Swedish, they go like this. That's also Ö in Swedish, but that's Norwegian. So it's Ö, I, S, T, E, I, N. Øystein. And by the way, that is an old name, very, very old name. Øystein is the name of an, an ancient uh, Viking king of vikings so i'm very proud of the heritage of my name uh, but outside of norway there is hardly any Einsteins. it's quite unique so i'm very proud of it thank you and by the way if on the internet you sometimes come across einstein uh, when i lived in singapore uh, everybody called me einstein so you may find that name also attached, uh, associated with me. But uh, what's up with this uh, paper? What's the, is it for the art show or something? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, would you like to see some drawing? Let's see, I have to see in the chat. Would you like to see some drawing? Okay, chat me please. What would you like to see? Santa, Santa, Santa? You gotta decorate your house for, for Christmas now, everybody. So, anyway. Why, any, anybody want Santas? Let's see here. Uh, I'm a Santa expert or... Uh, uh, Pippi Lippi, she's from Sweden. She wants a dog. And, and, and Charisma says reindeer. Maybe perhaps a reindeer dog. Is that possible? Reindeer dog. Let's see. Reindeer, reindeer. reindeer. Okay. Um, let's see. There are many ways of drawing reindeer. Uh, you can maybe start with a, with a sort of vegetable shape. You know, like... Um, like a mango, like a mango shape. Uh, you put on the eyes. Eyes are uh, some of the first that I put on always because because uh, when you have the eyes, it's easier to find the face. So now I have the nose. I have a reindeer mouth with the reindeer teeth, reindeer ears, uh, long legs because of course Rudolph has got long legs so he can run really fast and carry Santa around the whole world for Christmas. So now let's see, a bit of uh, fur, a bit of fur texture there. And what's missing? Yes, the horn. So, whoa, and then so you go like, whoa, like that. And then another one. And another one, let's see. Whoa! And then, oh, that's a proper reindeer horn there. That is. Yes! Okay, you got reindeer! Red color! I did red. Have you seen any red color around here? Uh, no, 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 that's, that's not good enough. Uh, oh, I got a, I got a pencil here. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer, la 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 la, like that. Okay, so there's Rudolph. What was the other one? The dog? Yeah. Somebody wanted the dog? Yeah, a dog. A and dog. also, they want a self portrait, perhaps together with a dog. Is that possible? Uh, yeah, let me think. Okay, <laughs> so what I can do, I can draw a smaller version of the mango we just used for Rudolph, and I can put on the eyes. 
pretty much precisely the same way and the nose the same way so so far these two look very much alike the dog and the reindeer in fact I can do the mouth the same way with the teeth the same way uh, but the ears will be a bit more doggy and um, uh, tail is uh, slightly different uh, short little legs like that and uh, we gotta add the tongue here sort of a, <laughs> a big doggy tongue so <laughs> so here is uh, uh, Rudolph's very own uh, dog friend uh, if we want to we can put on a little collar so we put on a little dog collar and then uh, around Rudolph's uh, arm and then imagine the 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 thing going up here uh, around uh, so Rudolph is taking his dog for a jog and to, Shall and what self portrait uh yeah well here's the self portrait you can just show this oh yeah here it is everybody um uh here's me uh when i on a bad hair day uh let me put it on so you can see that it really looks like me upside hey it's upside down isn't it yeah yeah <laughs> well never mind <laughs> let me draw yours let me draw a self-portrait okay um should i be taking a ride with rudolph you start with an egg if you want to draw me start with an egg Put on ears and face and here I am wait holding on to Rudolph's horn maybe my other arm is coming around like that like this and then so my body is sort of wait huh um, down like this whoops one leg Two legs, my jacket, shoes, there, there I am, taking a, taking a ride on Rudolph's back, got an orange color there by the way, or sort of a ready, wait, huh? oh yeah, 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 so if I color, if I color in, it's easier to see what it really looks like. Because if there are too many lines, it gets confusing, you see, but if you color it in, it, it, it becomes more clear. Uh, like that. Okay. And there's one last. Yeah, okay. They're asking for uh, a Santa Claus, but uh, as a cat, a cat Santa. A cat Santa? Yeah, cat. thanks. Uh, that's from Mia LK and also, uh, let's see here, Shell Cat. They want you to draw a Santa cat. I'm just gonna sign this one. I always sign with uh, Little A Stein. Uh, I got another piece of paper under here, so. Sat. No, Sat. Santa cat. cat. Cat Santa. Yeah, Santa cat. Okay. Well, we gotta start with the cat then. So, cat. Uh, many ways of drawing a cat, but uh, I could just do, yeah. I could just start with a sort of a, again, a mango shape. I put the eyes on top, big open eyes, nose, uh, cat teeth. Open up the mouth, putting in the tongue, uh, filling in a little bit of dark color in between the teeth, the tongue and the lower lip. 
whiskers, cat ears, like that. Uh, arms, uh, legs, well, we got the, the feet, so here's another foot, with toes, legs, like that, and of course, the tail, the Santa's, no, not the Santa's, the cat tail. So here it comes, let's see. Maybe people hippies. This says it looks like a cat potato. Yeah, cat potato. Yeah, why not? Uh, it, it could easily be a cat potato. Now, so now we have a cat potato, whatever. Now I'm gonna uh, add the the Santa the Santa bits. So we can start with. <laughs> We can start with uh, Santa's coat. Some fur uh, on the arms here. This is Santa's coat. We have Santa's belt going around the tummy. The Santa's buckle. And then we got to color in the belt. It's a black belt. Continuing on the other side of the foot. Uh, buttons. Uh, let's see now. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just button the whole thing straight down. Um, like this. Uh, then here is again the fur around the the neck like that then let's put a Santa hat on each ear <laughs> like that Santa hat also uh, around the tip of the tail uh, and what else we need the yeah the Julia she says she wants some uh, candy can the cat hold some lollipops perhaps yeah I just put a sort of a, a sack like a Santa sack full of uh, lollies but the lolly in the other hand or um let's see the lacking space here now okay who's who's asking um Julie Julie she just wants uh, somebody who's eating lots and lots of candy maybe it's candy all over the place or something uh <laughs> Let me try to fit in a lolly somewhere. Oh, in the tail. So we can have a big lolly here. Sort of holding that with the tail. Like that. And then some color. Color, color, color. Um, but the size of this cat Santa is so big, I should need a bigger pencils, but never mind. I don't have that available, so I'm just going to use uh, whatever I have at hand right now. So forgive me if it's taking a bit of time. <laughs> and now they're saying it's it's a cat potato Santa eating candy. Yeah, thank you, thank you, everybody. That's very nice of you to interpret uh, my drawing like this. It's really good to see or hear that you have. A great imagination that you can imagine all these funny ideas with my art because you know when I draw I just draw whatever comes to my mind however I see it and then you imagine you know something else so that's fun I like that that's good uh, let's see here now a bit of color on the tongue um, you got another red pencil Marius um. Because this one is getting a bit... Yeah, tiny. yeah, I got plenty. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, have a look at that. Oops, wait. 
And then uh, maybe a pink. And the uh, pushing lover. A pink is as high. I'm just gonna put the pink on the lolly. Bit of pink and white stripy lolly, or maybe some green stripy lolly. Yeah, say it again, please. Uh, she's a big fan. Uh, her name is Hushin Lover. It's a very long name. Yeah. Hushin Lover. Yeah. She says she loves your crafts. She loves my craft. Yeah, Hushin Lover. Thank you so much, uh, Pushin Lover. That's uh, very nice to hear. Um, I, I love to make crafts too. So um, we have that much in common. You know, it's so much fun and it's so much it's so f so much fun to know that 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 all these crafts are available for you to 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 make anytime you like. Okay, so how do you like this one? Is it uh, cat Santa enough for you? Potato, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's it. Okay, or thank you so much, everybody. I I so appreciate that you have been with me this little time together. Uh, why don't we uh, repeat this party as soon as possible, you know, another time. Um, we let you know next time we are live. Uh, keep your questions ready. Keep your wishes, what you want me to draw uh, ready and I shall try to, um, to show you how. Uh, thank you so much. See you really soon. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.